Hey guys, welcome back for another video. I'm in the process of editing this video right now down in my basement and I wanted to create a an intro into today's video. In this video I'm going to be doing a couple different things. I'm swapping out the dryer door in my laundry room because it gets in the way whenever you're trying to load stuff from the washing machine into the dryer so I'm going to swap that around so it's a little bit more functional in there. The toilet in that bathroom is really like a, uh, a camp stool I swear this thing is the shortest toilet I've ever seen. So we bought a new toilet and I'm going to be swapping that out too. I'll, I'll show you how to change out a toilet. It's my first time changing out a toilet so I'll show you how that how that's done and then finally I played another show the other night with my band the Funky McFlies so I will show you what I do for fun when the opportunity presents itself so make sure you hit the subscribe button and like this video below and here's the video <music> All right, so when we moved into this house, our washer and dryer configuration reversed itself. And what that means is the dryer door now opens on the side where the, the washer is. So whenever you're trying to take clothes out of the washer and put them into the dryer, you're having to lean over that dryer door. So to correct the problem, I'm gonna take this door off and I'm gonna swap out the hinges so it will open the opposite direction, making the whole laundry room a lot more ergonomically correct. It's not really that much different than a regular door. It just has a few extra components to make it waterproof and things like that. So um, as you can see, I, I just unscrewed those hinges and took it off there is like a, a latch bolt on there that that fits down into a seat on the face of the dryer and then you know the bolts hold it securely in place at this point i'm going around i'm just removing all the screws around the door and most dryers are like this they're already set up where you can you can swap sides um, you just have to swap the components around. Here I'm opening up the, the panel of the door so I can get that hinge loose. And that's basically what your hinge looks like. Got the second one out. On this side, that is the grip that you would reach in to open the door up. And it fits into a an identical mirrored uh, groove on the other side of the door. And so I'm putting it there so that way it will, once I get the door in place where I want it, you know, it'll have the grip on the on that side. So that little piece down there in that corner is just a filler so that way it doesn't look like you have a big hole in your door if that is the side that you don't have hinges on. Now I'm switching over the hinges to that side. What I just put on there in the middle is actually just like a little sticker that covers up the hole where the, the latch is. And then go back and screw everything down again. And then of course you gotta swap out these covers on the actual machine as well and and these covers are pretty much cosmetic so it doesn't look like you have like open components inside the the washer it's it's really more of a cosmetic thing and then of course this is the catch for the drawer for the door i'm just moving it to the other side Once you get all this in place, then you're ready to go ahead and reseat that door and then screw it back in. And, and that's really all there is to it. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. 
Up until a couple of months ago, I had no clue how easy it was to swap out your door on your dryer. I guess you just have to be willing to take things apart and figure it out sometimes. All right, so the toilet that we are replacing is this Delta Turner. Um, it sits up a quite a bit higher, which that's the main thing that nobody liked about this one is so freaking low, it felt like you were squatting out in the woods. So this one here actually sits up, I think two or three inches higher, which is a pretty substantial amount. It comes with uh, the hydro wash flush. It has all the stuff I need to change out this toilet. It has the slow close seat. We're gonna go ahead and get this sucker unboxed and installed. All right, so going in here, the first thing I'm gonna do is shut off the water supply and flush that toilet to make sure that all the water is out. Uh, then I bring in my shop vac to clean out the rest of the water, and that's just to minimize the amount of mess. And then after that, I remove the bolts that are on either side of the base, and once that's done, you're ready to remove that toilet. With that toilet out of the way, you can see that wax ring down there. And I just took a scraper and scraped all the, the wax ring away because I've got a new one that came with the new toilet that will go down to make a good seal when I install the new toilet. Alright, unboxing time. And what do you know? There's a toilet in there. All right, so back in the bathroom, I'm gonna take these bolts and put them into the flange and make sure that they are secured down with, they've got a couple of plastic washers that just go down to hold them upright. After that, I can place that new wax ring And then it's time to install the new toilet. Just basically place it down right over the bolts. And then I take this plastic washer and a metal washer and a lock nut right on top of that and fasten it down. Easy peasy. Do the same thing on the other side and then once that's all done you just cap it off with these uh, decorative PVC hubs. Now this is a rubber gasket that goes on the bottom side of the tank and it's basically just to create a seal so that way the tank does not leak. Just lining up those three holes on the back of the toilet with the three bolts sticking out of the bottom of the tank. And again, you have a washer and a nut which screws right on there and it pulls the tank down onto the toilet. It also compresses that gasket so that way you have a good seal. Now for the toilet seat. And everybody's pretty much changed out a toilet seat, I assume. You just pop those two caps on the back of it, and it comes with a couple of vinyl screws. Um, vinyl, just because you are working with porcelain here. 
and um, if you use metal, the good chance that you could wind up busting that toilet. Nobody wants that, so we're using vinyl screws. And then you just flip those caps back and it covers that up. Makes it look pretty. Now it's time to hook up that supply line again and turn it on and we're filling it up. Next I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flush this sucker and I'm going to check around the toilet. Make sure there's no leaks anywhere. Cap it off. And we are done. Alright, so there you have it. That's my shenanigans in the laundry room slash bathroom on the main floor of my house. Changing out the dryer door so that way it swings the opposite way, making the laundry room much more functional and ergonomically correct. As well as changing out a brand new toilet so that way we don't have to squat like we're in the woods. I stated at the beginning of this video I was going to include a shot of my band. Music is one of those things that I have done more or less my entire life and I enjoy it. I don't do it as a career. I don't do it for money, although we do get paid for these shows. Usually it's it's little more than what I actually spend in gas and resources to actually get there. So anyways, it's a good time for me. I enjoy it, therefore I will do these things from time to time as long as it remains a fun pastime for me. So without further ado, here is my band, The Funky McFlies. <laughs>
right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Hit the notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. And that's the best way for this channel to grow is by word of mouth. So until next time, take care, and we'll catch you on the next one.